Hey guys, welcome to another video. In this tutorial, I want to talk about a basic keyframing. We've just downloaded this very nice video clip from Pixabay, and as you see, it's really nice, but it's still, just say we want to make some movement to it and have it more pleasing on the eye and having a subtle zoom in. Uh, how do we do that? We need to use keyframes. All right, so I'll just show you a very basic keyframing method you can you can use all across the board with all these features, but we'll do it with the scale all, which will just scale all the shots. Okay, we choose our in point. We go to here, the scale all, and on the right here, you see these little, like a diamond with an X, that's at a keyframe. So we're choosing our starting point, we click that until it turns yellow. All right, now we need to choose an end point. So we move our playhead to the end point, and all we need to do is choose our values that we wish it to end. Because it's subtle, I'm going to just put it to 110. 110. Okay, press enter. And now that is added the second keyframe. So now once we play it, we see a very subtle zoom in on that shot. You know, it just adds very nicely to the effect. All right, so then you might be wondering, well, you want to do some more keyframes and how do you see the keyframes because they're invisible basically all right and just say you want to make some changes to the keyframe how do you do that that's a good question what we need to do first to see the keyframes is press ctrl v and we see how a keyframe here from this this display that's the starting one and this is the end one so just say we want to change this value so it's not so subtle and it's more dramatic of a zoom in we need to put our playhead over it so it's covered over that end keyframe and then change this to 150 say right that will add the 150 so now we press ctrl v to close that display and now we should see a more dramatic movement you see how fast that is now you know and that's just uh, from 100 to 150 yeah so if you want decide you don't want that in the end it's a bit too dramatic we don't want to bother anywhere just control V go to the keyframe right click delete right click delete control V and we, my friends, are back to where we started. So that is how you do basic keyframes in Final Cut Pro. Okay, until the next video, thanks for listening, and see you next time. Peace.